Every day a new healthy oil hits the market. From mom sunflower oil to mustard oil to the new age extra virgin olive oil. The choices are endless and the decision is tough. I mean, how do you decide which one is the healthiest? Well, I'll give you a framework and help you arrive at that answer in today's video of the Whole Truth Academy. Firstly, most oils today are refined or purified oils. But don't let the word purify mislead you. It may mean that the oil was treated with an acid or an alkali or bleached. Basically, all these are chemical processes and the most commonly used chemical is called hexane, which when consumed repeatedly in large quantities can cause severe damage to our nervous system. Oops. Also, in the process of making and refining oils, some fatty acids that don't hold up well against heat turn into those dreaded trans fats. The smell of this is so bad that a cleaning process has to take place to reduce the odour. And that process is bleaching. Yes, I said bleach. So no, refined oils should be avoided as far as possible. Unrefined oils, on the other hand, are minimally heat processed. So they are either cold pressed or expeller pressed. And they aren't bleached. Under the unrefined umbrella, you have raw or pure or virgin and then extra virgin oils. Now, extra virgin just means that the fruit, in this case olive, was pressed just once to extract the oil. And that's why it has so much flavour. Because the more you press or refine the source, the more it loses taste. And that's a great hack for you. If your coconut oil or olive oil doesn't taste like coconut or olive, then it has been refined or at least pressed multiple times. Now that you get these basics, here's a comparison of all oil types on their level of refinement. Of course, this is a generalization and you need to judge the oil by its pack. For example, take this olive oil brand. It's supposed to be unrefined, but alas, the pressures of large scale modern day production have gotten to it too. Also, good thing about coconut oil is the fact that refinement does not impact it much since it doesn't change its fat profile. In other words, feel free to use a refined coconut oil, particularly if you are not wild about the way coconut tastes. And finally, ghee. Since ghee is a naturally occurring fat that is a byproduct of heating butter and allowing liquids to separate from milk, it often does not need to be refined. And unrefined, like I've been saying, is much better.